Hello everyone, um, my name is Dr. Manan. I am making this video uh, for future reference. The purpose of this video is to explain how to interface Anaconda with ROS, particularly for Python programming. So let's begin. Uh, you start with downloading Python, uh, uh, sorry, uh, downloading Anaconda, which is uh, I have, which I have downloaded here. Okay, so here and you just need to put and drag this file and place over here. And if you'll enter, then it will ask for some confirmation to agree with some conditions. Then you just say yes, and then it will be installed. Um, after that, what you have to do is to you have to configure it for um, uh, ROS. The problem is that uh, ROS is uh, using Python 2.7, but here if you see that, um, first of all, uh, here you see that, um, if you see that here, it will be using Python 3.65. So for example, um, okay. Um, but before that, let me tell you that you have to manually export the path which is in which is here in con uh, in your home directory in home directory if you'll plus control plus h it will show you many other files and uh, among these files you have to click dot bash rc you copy this uh, and place over here please comment it which and uh, this file as it has been instructed uh, in here for in wiki ROS. so i have already commented it and manually uh, mm, export this path and then conda minus v you can see that the python version is here is 3.6.5 uh, this version creates problem with ROS, so it is not good to use it so um first so what you need to do is to you is, is that you need to install um, or you need to activate an, um, Python 2.7 in Anaconda. It is very easy. So you just need to follow uh, this procedure. You can create can Anaconda uh, create minus n, and then whatever you name the environment, and then Python equals to whatever the version you want to use 2.7 or 3.6. So I have uh, described. I have used this uh, command like this. So uh, this uh, environment has already been created, so that is why it gives me an error. Uh, otherwise, if you'll press this, um, uh, if you'll give, the, if you'll uh, input this command, it will start creating the, that environment. Now there is a one thing I must mention that it is uh, a quite um, heavy environment. In, in, this is whenever Anaconda creates an environment for any Python version, it takes a lot of time. Uh, for me, it took me, it took me a lot. Um, I don't know if, uh, how long will it will, will it take for you, but overall um, the overall um, downloading is about one GB. So you better be um, be careful about that. So once the environment is ready, um, you need to activate it. Okay. Now it has been activated. Now there is one important thing. Uh, when you uh, install this and when you go for that you activate it still it will not um, so now i am using 2.7.15 so here it was 3.7 but now i want to use this one um, now if you'll see that if i'll in, uh, import raw spy it is importing the reason is that if i'll import raw uh, ekg it will import uh, the point is uh, if you will um, uh, why it is uh, importing because I have installed it if you haven't installed ROS PKG and ROS PY uh, after uh, activating this environment um, it will not work properly so how to install um, um, ROS PKG uh, again you need to go to this uh, ROS PK uh, wiki ROS and here it is a, the method has been mentioned you just uh, use this command pip install minus u ROS PKG so uh, let me go back to that it will tell me that it has already been installed 
so basically it tells me that uh, everything has already been installed it's already there so I don't need to do anything so just source activate ROS ENY ENV and uh, now I want to run Anaconda it takes time because it is a heavy uh, interface uh, let me tell you that most of the uh, in, um, professional uh, professionals are using Anaconda particularly it is uh, quite handy for AI applications uh, and it's a Jupyter notebook which is very very um, very very amazing so if you will be preparing a document for presentation you just use this uh, Jupiter, but I'm using here spider uh, for conventional programming uh, methods so I have already uh, imported listener and talker and this is uh, I have downloaded down, uh, in made this package in catkin workspace from um, ROS tutorials which are available here So um, just go through this uh, publisher and subscriber method, everything is there, I just mm, followed these steps and the package was ready. Now what I have to do, uh, what I want to show you is that um, if I want to run, so this is stalker and okay, this is this now. So okay, there is a problem, the problem is that I haven't run a raw score. And you know that without running raw score it doesn't work so first of all let me go to the catkin workspace and then source this and then catkin make i am okay and then raw score now the raw score is running so uh, now i want to use this you can see that the, the program is working so um, so this one is um, my first code this is talker and this I want to run here listener here so it is uh, I heard so it is it has subscribed so th that's the first program I want to show you uh, the only thing I want to highlight uh, is that um, uh, install and uh, install anaconda using um, using downloading it and then dragging and placing it on terminal and then for and then um, just agreeing with the term terms and conditions and then create a virtual environment for 2.7 and even after creating virtual environment and updating everything it will not work because you it will ask that the ROS PKG hasn't been installed so you just install it using this command and then you're good to go that's all thank you very much and if you have any problem and any confusion just let me know in the comment below and i will take care of it thank you